Hey, thanks for tuning in for another episode of your review channel. As always, I do appreciate you tuning in. In this episode, we're talking about Handbrake. So Handbrake is basically a tool that rips your DVDs that you own, that you have, and you want to export them and do something with some content on the DVDs themselves. So this is a tool. It's a free tool. It's a free download. I'll leave the link below so you can see it. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, pretty much how to use it and what it looks like and things like that. So before we get to it, please like, share, and subscribe. It always helps me out, as you do know, and I do appreciate that. So let's get to the tutorial right now. Okay, so before we get into the video, what you want to do is if you want to just go to this, the link right below here and you'll find the handbrake link to the software. And this is totally safe and totally uh, virus free. This has been around for a long time. And what this program is designed to do is basically rip the content from your DVDs that you own and you want to put them on back on your hard drive and you want to use some files. So if you have DVDs with chapters, you can actually extract certain chapters. If you have all uh, DVDs with all the footage on it and you want to extract that, it'll take all the footage and extract it. So what it does is just takes it and imports it into your computer and you can go from there and edit it and do something else with it if you want to. So what you want to do is just download um, from this link here, it'll be right below. Uh, so you can see that. And let's open up the program and start this out and see what it looks like. Okay, so when you first open up the program, you'll see here, let's just open this up so you can get a really good look at everything. When you open up the program, uh, you'll see uh, the interface will open up and you can look search for the volume. So if you already put your DVD in your external drive that you had to buy, because all computers pretty much don't come with that anymore, you get that and you plug it in and basically open up your DVD. So here's the DVD that I want to open up. Okay. Copy protected. It's not protected. It just comes up as a warning. And then just click, connect, uh, just click uh, read it, and you can see the progress by here. It's actually reading the, the drive itself. And at this point, it read it, and now it knows what it has. So this DVD has chapters. You can see chapters up here in the top right, and there's 16 chapters. Okay, so it'll rip all 1 through 16 and put them on your hard drive or wherever file you want. And if to do that, you the bottom right, you just hit browse and you can tell it where you want it to put it. So I have this set up on my desktop. That way it's just that way I know where it is and it's organized and then I can put it into the folder um, as I work on my projects and I can do that. So that's how you um, set a destination. And so another thing is here, this is set for a fast, uh, so you can see here 1080 uh, by 30 frames per second and you can actually control that. So say you want to use a file for YouTube. So it has that option here. So you go, just go to web, let's go to YouTube, right? Go to YouTube 720 or YouTube 1080, right? And click on that. So that's going to actually encode it for that specific size and that format, which is perfect. That's really awesome, right? That's really good. I like that. And let's see. So I want to look at my chapter. So say I just, I really want to just extract chapter one because I know that's like the photos. This, this is an old video, um, but I want to just, somebody wants photos. So I want to extract the photos from this DVD. It's a photo segment that I did. So we'll just go here and we will click only want one of one, which is only the first chapter. I don't want to do it all. I don't want to rip it all. I just want to rip one. Now, once you've chosen your video file and you chose your chapters, all you have to do is hit start. Once it starts, you can see here the progress bar. It'll tell you over here how long it's going to take. It actually tells you right down here the percentage and how much time is left. So the, this is a standard definition DVD. This is not high definition. High definition does take a lot longer. Uh, so this rips it pretty quick. It's one chapter uh, in this DVD segment. You can see it's like 13 seconds left. It's a progress bar. It's real easy to use. Very simple. And hope this tutorial is helping you so far. Okay. So that is done. That is it. Let's go back down. Let's take a look at our desktop and see where it is. Close this down, close down, and it's right here. So here's our DVD, here's our file, okay? It's an MP4 and it's all set for YouTube. And here's the size, and then we can actually play it. And it's all compatible for your Final Cut Pro. Um, you can import it right into Final Cut Pro and you are good to go. So there's the file, very easy. Oh, sorry about that, that's loud. Ooh. Um, I don't know if you heard it or not, but it was really loud in my ears. But so this is the actual file. So it's really kind of cool. Um, it works really well. So say you want this segment and you just wanted to rip this out, and there you go. And that's it. And that's how you use it. And it's on your desktop here. You can put it in your folder. 
And when you want to use it and import it into your project, you can edit, chop it, whatever you want to do, export it back out again, burn it into the DVD, whatever. But that's pretty much how to use Handbrake. So Handbrake is an awesome tool. I hope you found this informative. Please share, like, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. As you all know, I do appreciate that. And share this with other people so they know how they can actually extract um, content from their old DVDs. Uh, back in the day now it's considered. Uh, it's kind of like old technology. It's gone away like cassettes. It's kind of weird, but... That's the way it goes. All right. So I hope you like this quick tutorial and you have a great day and please be safe.